It's our SoCal Spotlight, and this morning we are live in Camarillo, and KCAL News reporter Sheba Turk is showing us around. Sheba, I'm learning something new again. I love it, Amy. I know you said this is your spot. You lived here for years. A lot of people don't know about this place, though. We're talking about vinyl records. You see them, you might buy them. They're actually making a huge comeback in the music industry, but you probably never thought about where they're being made. Well, a lot of them are being made right here in Camarillo. We are an RTI, or Record Technology Incorporated. It's one of a handful of record pressing plants in the entire country. Bryce Wilson is the quality control manager. And Bryce, you guys have been here for more than 50 years. 51 years, yep. We've seen the industry in its heyday and then it, when it almost died off in the 90s and coming back in the last decade, it's just exploded with a bunch of new pressing plants coming online. But we've been here all along in Camarillo. Wow, and you're one of only three in California. Two in California now, wow. yeah. One, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's a niche. Uh, industry, yeah. It's something I think we've all picked up, bought, have a vinyl record. I never thought about what went into making it. You say this is a 24-hour operation. Right. We have three shifts. Uh, we're, we're here all night pressing records, and we package them the next day. Okay, so kind of take me through the process. All right, so, of course, it all starts with the music. So a mastering engineer somewhere off-site cuts the music into grooves on a lacquer disc. That gets sent to RTI, and we go through a process of plating it to make stampers. Okay. So here's our, our great wall of stampers. Each one of these has the grooves of the music uh, cut into it, and these are made of solid nickel. So each stamper, each set of stampers that gets set up on a press can make about 500 to 1,000 records. Wow. Yeah, so okay, this is cool. And it's uh, coming up in the next few months. We're going to be pressing. We have a lot of these stampers around. Okay, and then what's in this bin? So this is this is what a record starts as. This is PVC, um, and for this particular record, it's a mix of clear, orange, and and uh, clear. Uh, so these get loaded into this hopper up here and melted down, pushed through a screw, and from there it gets turned into a biscuit. So this gets heated up to about 275 degrees and labels, paper labels get put on it. So you know who's the artist, what are the titles. Well, let's show folks the end of this process. So how long does this entire process take once you guys get the music? So the, the record, once it gets dropped onto the press, it takes about 30 to 40 seconds to press. Okay, and let's get the end. Yeah. So then the records sit on a spindle here, and we let them cool so they settle nice and flat. They get sleeved and inspected by hand, mm -hmm. and then they get put into jackets. Mm -hmm. We do all the packaging here. And let's and make it to the end. Final step is they go through the shrink wrap and come through here, and maybe they need a sticker, and a barcode. Being finished right now. And then we ship them all over the world. This is so cool, and who knew a lot of these were being produced right here in Camarillo, Amy? I've never heard about it, so thank you so much, Shiva. Certainly appreciate it.